Hey guys out there, this is Seto Kaiba from your Yu-Gi-Oh! chat channel. Now, if you saw the, the title of this video, let me explain to you. I do not hate dragons. I do not hate dragons. Granted, I love Blue Eyes, he's my favorite dragon. But I don't hate elemental dragons. I like the idea that Konami came up with, that they can be helpful in fire, water, wind, and earth decks. Example, Redox and Gadgets. Tidal and Mermails, uh, excuse me, Blaster and things like Fire Kings and Battling Boxers. I like that. I don't like the way the player base has made it. That's what I've said before and I'm sticking to my guns. I don't like the way that we've made it into this synchro thing that has two auto win buttons and six cents and return from a different dimension. So my question to you guys out there is how would you go about making E-Dragons a more quote unquote, I guess you could say, mellowed out deck, more balanced, more not as broken. How would you go about doing that? This is just a question. This is food for thought. What would you do? Not to say that I hate my E Dragon players, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, how would you make the deck? And if you play E Dragons, just tell me, how would you make your deck less of a deck? I know that sounds kind of weird, but. How would you make it more balanced? In my opinion, they are mostly balanced. In my opinion, they're mostly good. I like the deck as is, except for two cards that I have a problem with. A, well, let's go with B first. B is six cents. Yes, it just came out, but I've played with it enough online that it's really annoying. They go, oh, dice roll. I feel like I'm like in Dungeon Dice. Go, dice roll. Uh, oh, I got six. I draw six cards. Dude. That, that's just... Ugh. Excuse my French. It's just that card, you know... I don't like it. It, it. It's I like it when I play it, but I don't like it when they're playing against it. And yes, they can mill and stuff like that, and they sometimes even get bonuses off the milling a lot of times because they're E-Dragons, but that's beside the point, guys. The fact of the matter is, I just don't like that card. In general, it's a broken card, it can be an auto win button, and the fact that I have faced it enough times where I am beating the E Dragon player with one of my decks, and next thing I know, he goes six cents, and I've wasted all my resources, put him into a position where he only has a thousand life points left, and he goes six cents, and he draws six cards. And I'm like, that, that, that just, that, that's, that's an auto win button there for you guys. The first, number one card I have a problem with, though, is Return from a Different Dimension. Now, in the past, really not that many decks have put main this card in their deck. Yes, it's at one, but it's an auto-win button. In Konami, you took away all other auto-win buttons. Why did you not take away these for dragons? Granted, they weren't using Return that much, I don't think, last format. I could be wrong, but I don't remember. I don't want to think about that format. I have locked it away in a place in my head which I will never speak of. But that's another topic for another day, guys. I just The problem I have with Return is, same thing. I have pushed my opponent against the wall, I've beaten him, he's battered, I have maybe three or four cards, he's down to a thousand or so, and then he goes Return from a different dimension. Summons all his dragons and... You know, doing all those crazy plays. I'm just like sitting here going... I had you beat, dude. That one dang card. It feels like those old days when somebody would go, Dark Hole, or Harpy's Feather Duster, or Regeki, or, you know, way, way back in the day, you know, or go, you know, I saw in Chaos Emperor Dragon. It's kind of like what I remember from, like, back when I was younger in the game, back in my heyday, when I'd be like, see these broken cards and they would be game changing. It's just like, you got two auto win buttons in your deck. Lovely. So, I mean, I could go on and say that another reason I don't like dragons is because of their draw power. My question, though, is how do you... But that's a different... I'm not going to go into draw power. But my question, though, is how do you make the deck more not as broken? How do you make it balanced so that, you know, it's... I think you would have to take away the auto win buttons. Six cents and return. You take away that, the deck is beatable. 
You don't have to worry about running in to return from a different dimension. You don't have to worry about, you know, does he have this card? Six cents, he's going to draw six cards, you know, late game or whatever. I've liked auto win cards when I play them, but I don't like them when I play against them. So I know that's contradictory, but if it means that it's a more balanced game because of this, the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! that is, then I'm fine with auto win button cards, you know, being gone. Even if they're forcefully taken away from me, Konami, like Gateway and uh, some of my other boys. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, but that's another topic for a different day. I have many topics we can go back to. But tell me, guys, seriously, how would you go about stopping E-Dragons from being a super-duper deck? I feel that they're balanced. Remember that. I just don't like the quote-unquote auto-win button cards in their deck. Take those away. The deck is balanced, I think, more by a lot, in my opinion. Because I've faced E-Dragons and I've pushed them. I've either beaten them or they beat me, you know, but... I've pushed them, I can't, it's happened a lot lately with Sixth Sense and all that being released. I've pushed them to the brink of being destroyed, and then they just get the auto win button, because their draw power is so good. So tell me guys, what do, would you do to make E-Dragons more balanced? Look forward to seeing your comments guys, and until next time everybody, take care, have fun dueling, and good luck dueling guys. Seto Kaiba, I'm out of here guys.